Hi, so in this video I thought I'd show you how to download and install the new font converter that Brother have given us in Scan and Cut Canvas. Rather than just install it on my computer and show you how it works, I thought I'd show you how and where to find it and then how to install it. Bear in mind, obviously, I use a Mac, so it will, you know, some of this may look different if you use a Windows computer, but the principle should be the same. You should be able to follow the links, download it, save it, and then unzip it and install it so that you can use it whether you use Windows or a Mac. So I'm in Scan and Cut Canvas and I've already logged in just to save some time. And the converter you'll see is in this scrolling section at the bottom that shows you all the recent updates. So I'll just wait for it to come round so that we can follow the link from here. So here it is, Scan and Cut Type Converter. It's telling us to go to the Brother Solutions Centre. So I'm going to click on the link. It's telling me here that what it is, Scan and Cut Type Converter. I'm going to click on CM Series because that's the only thing that's here. I'm going to choose my machine. I'm in the UK, so it's a 600DX, but I suspect you could choose any of these because I would think the converter is just the same no matter what model you've got. I'm going to choose mine. Mine all automatically defaults to Mac as the operating system because obviously I've downloaded things previously from Scan and Cut Solutions Center. <coughs> oh, sorry, from the Brother Solutions Center. So I'm going to click search. Here's the converter. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions and then it's just going to drop the converter file or app into my downloads folder and it, it's showing us a little picture here of how it's going to look. It's going to look like this purple T. So I'm going to close the solution center down now, go to my downloads folder and drag it out onto my desktop so you can see it. Now on a Mac you just double click to extract a zip file. You just do now if you're using Windows what you would normally do for any other zip file. I'm going to double click it. It's going to ask me, do I want to open it because it's a file that's come from the internet? I'm going to say, yes, I want to open it. And here it is. So basically, it's going to pull through all the fonts that are on my computer. You can use them as regular or bold, and it's giving us options in point or pixel size to choose as well. So I'm going to keep it on 72 because that's about middle-ish size. I'm going to choose a font that I know is on my computer that I've previously downloaded, which is this one, Ansi Pants. You choose anything. And in this box up here, I'm going to type a word. So I'm going to type hello. <coughs> it's giving me a little preview of how it looks. There is a preview box as well. It shows me how it will look and then here you can alter the character spacing up or down by the look of it so I'm going to leave it on zero for now and I'm just going to say save it gives it a generic name or number in this case I'm just going to say hello I'm going to rename it as hello and put it on my desktop and save it and here's the file now this I can close the converter down because I don't need that this basically is just a cutting file. This is not a program or piece of software that's going to allow you to bring all the fonts from your computer over into Canvas. It's just a little application that's going to allow you to open the fonts on your computer in the app and then create a cutting file. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to come to new project now. So I've got a new blank project on my desktop. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. I'm going to come over to the SVG icon, which is the icon that allows me to import SVG files or DXF files or FCM files. And it's an FCM file that I've just made with the word hello. So that's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to look for it on my desktop and it's there. And I'm going to say OK. And hopefully it's going to put it on my page. And as with most things in canvas it tends to 
put them right in the top left hand corner. So I'm going to select the word and bring it down and just zoom in a bit more so you can see it. Now, as you can see, it's got blue bounding box around each letter. So that means that this word has all come in as individual letters. And I know from playing with this previously earlier on that any letters that have middle sections like this, so A's, E's, O's, that kind of thing, if I, if I just want to cut or draw this word as it is now, all I need to do now is give it a name here, save it, and I could just download it onto a USB stick or transfer it to my machine wirelessly, and I could cut or draw those letters exactly as they are. But if I want to weld them, oh, I would say also I can resize from in here, but to resize you have to group. So while you've got everything selected, if you right click and group, you've then got the drag handles that you can you know, manipulate this however you want to do. So I'm just going to undo it back to how it was. But if you want to weld these letters together, if I just, just move them, I'm just going to go back to regulars, to the regular size, because sometimes canvas, I don't know if it's just my machine or it happens to you, but sometimes if I zoom in and then try and move letters around, it does odd things like this. So, So it's just doing all this really odd stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to go back to fit to mat and I'm going to bring it in again. And hopefully this time it will be fine. Okay, so there it is. Now, as I was saying, if I wanted to weld these letters together and I just move the letters around so that I can weld them and now I am going to zoom in so hopefully you can see. If I now select all these letters and go to edit and weld, the middles of the E and the O have disappeared. So I'm going to undo that and I'm just going to take it all back to how it was. So the way to stop that happening is you need to select the letters individually before you do anything else. So I'm going to select the E and I'm going to go to Edit, Subtract and that's basically just going to punch this middle section of the E out of the E so it acts as one letter. And then I'm going to select this one and do Edit, Subtract. And although it's made it jump around, hopefully it's punched this out of this bigger section and this time we'll be able to weld. So again, I'm just going to overlap them. I'm not, I'm not being fussy about how they overlap at this moment in time. I'm just going to overlap them. Now this time when I select them and go to edit weld, they should just weld together normally without losing the middles of the E and the O and as you can see they have and a, and a way to kind of double check on that is to fill it with a colour and as you can see it's all filled so that's exactly how that would cut if I cut that from a red piece of card. So I'm just going to go back to fit to matte. So just to recap I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back to the converter. I'm going to type another word. I'll type daddy this time because that's got middles of D's and A's. I'll just choose another font. I'll choose Arial and save. Put it back on my desktop just so I can find it. Close this down. Come back into the canvas SVG file. Choose the file that I've just called daddy and say OK. And then again, there's the word. So again, what you have to do 
I'll try and zoom in and hope it doesn't jump around. But again, you've got to choose the letter individually. If it's got a middle like this, you've, this is the way you seem to have to do it. I don't know if it's a bug in the converter and that Brother Scan and Cut Canvas can sort it out or if this is just something we're going to have to do if we want to use fonts on our computer in Scan and Cut Canvas to weld. If you don't want to weld anything, you don't have to do this process, but if you want to weld it, it's just a step you're going to have to, to do. So I'm going to select the D, I'm going to go to Edit, Subtract, that will punch this circle out of this letter D. You can see it's still one letter. I'm going to do the same on this one, Edit, Subtract, and the same on the A. This time now, again, I'm going to bring them all over. I'm just going to overlap them, select them all and go to edit, weld. And they should weld without the middles of the letters disappearing. I forgot to do the capital D, didn't I? So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to select the D, go to edit, subtract, select everything again, edit and weld. There you go. So I hope you found that helpful. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you don't already do so. If you do already subscribe, please just make sure that you are still subscribed. As I said at the beginning, I think, uh, YouTube, something is odd is happening with YouTube lately and they seem to be unsubscribing people from channels that they've previously been subscribed to. So again, I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.